Pikes Peak is America's mountain, but before Tuesday, it didn't belong to cyclists. In years past, then, we haven't had unescorted bicycles running up and down the road except for the bicycle race. After getting pressure from the cycling community, Pikes Peak deciding to run a pilot program to see if both cyclists and motorists can share the road. You know, it became more popular and we became more questions once we actually finished the asphalt paving. So last year we committed to trying to study it this year to make a decision for 2013. Several cyclists accepting the challenge, taking on the 19 mile trek to the top, complete with steep grades and an altitude difference of 7,400 feet. I didn't think it would be as steep though. I mean, it's, it's definitely doable, but uh, the steepness doesn't really ever let up. It's just like the old expression, put one foot in front of the other. It just is hard, but you just keep going. And no pain equals no gain of magnificent views like this. It doesn't hurt to try. The worst case scenario is you just have to turn around and head <laughs> down if it's too much. It's a great experience. But with strong winds and blind curves, it's tough to say if this will be a lasting relationship. I don't know if I recommend it or not especially in the peak tourist season where there's a lot of cars, it's going to be dangerous.